so I command you to panoramic view. Look, I'll make it all manageable. Pick your shoes, sit and lose all you different crews. Chicks and dudes, so you think he's really kicking too. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Right, okay. Let me look at my list. Daniel. Daniel Criddle from Perth. You slag. <laughs> your kick up's done. Um, I've done it a bit mild, mate, seeing as this is your um, new introduction to kick ups. Didn't want to go too wild. Um, this will do. I've got a, this is a sliding rail set up, but you can put on here your normal ASA and bottle mount. Um, can't remember what hose you've got, whether you've got a macro line or whatever. You might end up uh, finding that you're going to have to change your macro line if you don't have one. Or this might plumb in straight away and I'm being worried about nothing. But hey, I like to think about everything. So this is your kick up all done. Um, I don't go mad on a polishing dude. Uh, it takes too long and it just puts so much on the price. And I don't do anodizing because again, it takes so long. The turnaround is long. Got to polish it before it goes to the anodizers. And instead of being 30 quid, it's now like 65 pound. I'm not a CNC shop. All my stuff is handmade from billet aluminium. There is no casting here. Anyway, uh, this is nice. I've just got this mounted up on what's going to be my um, ball puppy air rifle thing when I finally get around to doing it. When? Pew, 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 pew. The agronomics on these is lovely. I would love to have a little 22 long semi-automatic on one of these with an ele electronic trigger, uh, magnetic breech. Man, wouldn't that be nice? But living in the UK, I just can't really make that sort of stuff. There's so many restrictions that get in the way. Um, next time I'm out in the States for a decent amount of time and I can get use of, you know, uh, I'll, I'll give hands a shot and you know maybe I'll let me use the tool room then we can make something funky because hey anything goes over there you know what I mean pew, pew, pew. that's my best impersonation of Frankie on PC he's actually one of my favourite YouTubers but um, yeah that's done that's lovely and I haven't gone too wild with it yeah we start mild and then we work our way too wild okay so give this a try if you like it a couple of years down the line we can get it more wild for you that is done Danny uh, next one we're doing is <sighs> Cogme Cogme Ha Cogme Hung Jet Tiang I'm just going to finish off your um Regulator piston. With the standard regulator pistons, the air comes in and it has to turn around a right angle. This is bad. Think of air like bouncy balls, comes in, wants to bounce back out. Yeah? Straight away you've lost energy. Um, I know I keep going on about this, but it's so important. So all my, all my um, pathways for the air travel straight. And it's also, um, I give it a little spread chamber there just so we can get some turbulence. Uh, people think turbulence is bad. Turbulence is good in some situations. It acts as a bearing for the rest of the airflow, the central column, to ride on. And it does move faster. Uh, so, uh, that's your one, Jamesy. This is your one, Jet. I'm going to do this now. Uh, I just had an inquiry about... A... Um, a um, ah, yes. I do have one can left, uh, this is the big bore front, I haven't done the rear yet, um, but I can do the rear today and we can finish that. Again, it's not about so much about the size of the pulps, although I do make them all bigger, but it's about the shape of the pulps and the directional flow of the pulps, it's so important. Um, this uh, at the moment is a standard bolt guide, I will bore this out on the machine. Um, Here's the thing, uh, normally with my guns 
you don't need to use the bolt with the spring in. You do not need a bolt assisted spring. Um, so you can go back over my old videos and watch all this. I don't want to go into it now. This one is for a bolt um, spring assisted bolt, okay? Uh, but normally with my setups, when the guns come here and I blueprint them and custom build them from scratch, you can take that spring throw away. That gives us so much more option. Once we start going down that road, um, see this one has the bolt in to take to hold the spring in place. Well, we turn this arse about face, and what we do with this is I uh, machine in a little cap front. And then onto this, we can put a rubber pad, so I can give you a soft nose bolt. Now there are different ways I do this. I have a soft nose in the centre, and then I have these ones, which I don't know if you can quite clearly see. I'm just going to switch this to um, now. If you look closely, this has a soft rubber ring set inside, but this one doesn't have the spring in, and you use this in conjunction with. Uh, with Marmite, hang on. Where's my Marmite, man? You use that in conjunction with one of the old bolt guides, which are bigger volumetrically, they are bigger. It's worth like three cc's, but three cc's at 150 psi is 30 cc's, yeah? Big, and we like big because we go big. We can get the pressure down. Well, you know, I've got a can of coke and I'm putting it in a bottle of coke. The bottle of coke's empty. When I pour the can of coke in, the bottle of coke is only half full. That's a really bad analogy, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea, right? Uh, we want to put the same amount of stuff into a bigger area. Gives us a lower pressure. So these are the old ones that are for non-spring non assisted bolts. The other thing I do like to use is a bolt that does not, I repeat, does not have an o-ring on the front. I do not like these bolts with o-rings on the front. It's drag and it's, it's absolutely, there's, there's, there's no point in it whatsoever. There's nowhere for the air to go in a Lux. You've already got an o-ring in the breech. I even get rid of that o-ring as well. Um, Paint is not a bullet, it's not sealing the barrel, it's not the ultimate fit to give us back pressure. We might have 1, 2 psi or 1% of our forward energy going back. It's absolutely in the great number of things, means nothing. Um, so, um, I do have one can kit. And I have had loads of people sending me emails going, Oh, do you do your can kits? But that's all I ever get is emails. And I say, look, it's this price. I never hear from them again. Although it's a lot cheaper than the pooty stuff. Um, I've got nothing else. People seem to think I hate the pooty stuff. I don't. It's just my stuff um, has an advantage rather than just being a piece of kit that's anodized and looks nice. Okay, Pooty stuff is it's very nice looking. It's... It's very bright colours, it's very now, some players like that. Me, I like my parts uh, to be more efficient, proven efficiency. That's the most important thing. I saw a YouTube video the other day of someone shooting my stuff and uh, he had a, an increase, but what he didn't do, take the feather touch screw out, he would have seen an even bigger increase. Anyway, um, that's me, I'm signing off now, I'm going out. Oh, actually, I'm going to make these two uh, pistons. I'm buggering off for some Ark Survival with uh, Micmac and Gravy. Oh, dear. What am I doing? Anyway, I'll see you later, lads. Ta-da. Bye-bye.